Next mods for my Ford Ranger haven't arrived yet, so I'm going to do some maintenance by cleaning up and rust proofing the chassis. So uh, what I'll be using is the uh, remains of my trusty old Lanagard. There's a tiny bit left in there and I've also ordered a, a new one. Um, I've used that on the uh, Mustang and on the uh, family car. It's uh, pretty good stuff. But first I'm going to treat it with uh, this stuff, which I've uh, had for about 13 years in my garage. I originally bought it from my old uh, Subaru Forester and never used it. They don't even make this stuff anymore. I can't, can't find any trace of this company or the name of the product, but it's basically just a, a rust converter. The same stuff's available from all different kinds of brands. It basically just converts any surface rust into uh, like a black um, coating. So uh, it's a combination between the form of having it look looking nice and black and then the function of the liner guard to keep it protected. So the first step was actually to give the undercarriage a good old wash. I cobbled together a makeshift trolley and used the patio cleaner attachment for my pressure washer. It seemed to work pretty well. So I suppose I should show you some before images so you can see what it looked like to begin with. Ford Rangers do seem to be prone to a rusty chassis. There's even a dedicated Facebook group on the topic. This particular vehicle was one of the better ones that I looked at. It was actually parked next to a 2020 model which didn't look much different underneath. It's all just ugly surface rust, nothing major. But there was plenty of crusty brown patches, especially around any seams and welds like on the rear diff. The previous owner had tightened up a few areas with some rubbery underseal type stuff, such as the suspension components and any visible chassis rails under each arch. I didn't bother stripping it off, in fact I didn't do much prep work at all, with the exception of a quick scuff with a wire brush here and there. I just got straight on with painting everything metal with this rust converter. It's a milkshake like solution that reacts in about 10 minutes, the white liquid disappears leaving a dark coating behind. This step is probably more for looks than anything else, but combined with the liner guard it protects while also making the undercarriage look a bit more presentable, especially areas like the diff that you can see from behind. So that's a coating of the rust converter stuff applied, it's made a, a decent job, it all looks nice and black under there. I did also get plenty of it on my hair, but it doesn't seem to have turned that black. <laughs> and the next day I got the truck up on the ramps again to finish it off with a coating of Lano Guard. The Lano Guard darkens the surface a little too, so combined with the rust converter it leaves a nice black finish, or at least black with bits of dark brown, but much less noticeable than the vibrant orange rust patches. Probably the easiest product out there to use too. You just spray it on everything except your brake discs. And this is what this lovely stuff that I'm getting showered with looks like. A nice murky brown colour. Mmm, oh the farmyard. By the way, this was a convenient first use of low range, which made it easy to get up onto the ramps. It usually takes some considerable revving, followed by a quick application of the brakes so you don't drive straight off the end. The fresh liner guard has a nice wet look to it, but that soon dries to a semi-matte waxy finish. Right, so that's it, everything now has a liberal coating, including myself. I'm glad I was wearing these things, look at the state of those. Hardly say anything towards the end. I'm guessing that's also what's all over my face and hair, so uh, you never know, I might look 10 years younger by tonight. There's a clear improvement between the before and after shots, which makes it a satisfying job. It's good to know it's also protected from any further rusting over the upcoming years. Sadly, neither product reversed the effects of aging on myself, despite getting absolutely covered while crawling around under there. But thanks very much for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed taking a closer look at my undercarriage and I'll see you in the next one.